Hey guys, it's Zaki here back after a long break and today in this video I'll be showing you guys how to spot a fake PS2 controller so with no further ado, just let's get started. Before starting the video, I just want to say the main reason for making this video and why I am making the video for the PlayStation 3 controller and why not PlayStation 4 as the PlayStation 4 is a new release. So for this question the answer would be that the PlayStation 4 is pretty much expensive and uh, and not only expensive, it's from, from my opinion I think it's not worth it so I don't know what, what you guys think. But, but from my opinion, I think that it's not worth it because PlayStation 4 don't have some, some, something special from the PlayStation 3. The graphics is well, the design is unique, the, the, the controller is well built and nice looking. And except all of this, it's not something exceptional from the PlayStation 3 software systems. Or exec pro but whatever i am still stuck on the playstation 3 and a lot of youtubers for example victor kamanga is still stuck on playstation 3 because playstation 3 was a complete hit in in 2012 and till now people still are you know, still uh still play playstation 3 games though i would i hardly re recommend playstation 4 to any of the people who, who want to buy a gaming console or you can even build a gaming PC. So the main reason for making this video today is a lot of people every day are tricked with these things and they face a lot of problems on getting a fake controllers uh, on getting a original controller. So these controllers look pretty much the same. They are just the same as they are. And um, basically these are, uh, these are bought from direct market. So here I just want to mention one more thing and that if you want to buy a PlayStation controller then I will refer you to go to the market directly and buy because there you can check out the things that I'm going to show you guys over here to just get away or how to spot a fake PS2 controller. So let's get into it. So the first thing that you're gonna do is you have to click over here on the L3 and R3 buttons which are used to move around so you click over here and a sound the sound is pretty much louder and when you click both the sound is pretty much louder and so this is the fake one because uh, this is the fake one I, I bought it a few months ago much more maybe one or uh, one or two months and this is the old one that comes with my box it, it's almost one year old and so if you hear the uh, sound of the L3 and R3 buttons then here you are the sound is pretty much lower and uh, it's not so uh, noticeable because uh, it is the original one and the sound is pretty much lower so I hope you can hear it properly so I highly apologize for the bad sound and video quality uh, as I don't have a super camera which is like the Panasonic Lumix GH4 but still I try my best to give you the best and that's all that I want so the next thing they're gonna spot is the is the sides of the controller so spotting the sides of the controller are very much hard because if you are not a proper gamer then you just can say which one's fake and which one's original but still if you know PlayStation 3 controllers then you're gonna get it so the size of the controller is gonna be a little bit gapped so here you can see this are gap but this controller has no gap so I hope you can see it once again I highly apologize for the bad sound and video quality so here it is I, I hope you can see it uh, the controller on my left hand is the original and it has no gaps over here all is completely finished and the right one is the fake one and so it has a gap right over here and so yes this is it the next thing and three and the last one to spot a fake PS3 controller is seeing the back of the controller so when you take a look at the back of the controller the main thing that you're going to notice is some difference on the fake one and on the real one 
So I will refer you to uh, choose uh, to uh, to take your original controller that comes with your box when you're gonna buy the uh, the fake one, so that you can spot the fake uh, the one they're gonna buy if it's fake or not easily, and that's gonna be way much easier than getting uh, things done like this. So the next thing that to be done is is after you open the box, you can check out the buttons. So the buttons over here are a bit shaky and they are not completely fit. So I I usually uh, don't know how to spot a fake PSD controller, but I watched a, a, a lot of videos and not not many of them were not clearly done. So I thought of making this video and so you will see the uh, the buttons are pretty much shaky and uh, they are not compatible, whereas the original. Uh, PSG controllers buttons are well built and they are comfortable so, so hope you have enjoyed the video guys if you did then make sure to give a thumbs up to it and also subscribe for more contents like this so catch you guys in the next one and take care guys and yes like my Facebook page on the link in below also follow me on Twitter Rassan Zoom Zaki and get direct access to my YouTube channel from now on at www.youtube.com slash Zaki Rassan and that's pretty much it for today once again if you like the video make sure to give a thumbs up to it and as usual please subscribe this is Zakir Asan from Zakir's Tech and goodbye please